there everybody at Welcome, it's Scarlet Pete Self-Sufficiency and you're joining me today doing a little experiment. Have you heard of steamed puddings? Oh my, they're good. Well, I'm trying to create the steamed pudding effect without using a pressure cooker and without using anything uh, like plastics on the top of the pudding bowl. So what am I doing? I've lit a really hot fire and I'm getting some water in the bottom up to about halfway on the basin I think would be a good plan if there's that much in my kettle. I've used a pressure cooker trivet, any trivet or even a piece of metal to lift the pudding basin off the base of the Moroccan tagine which is what I'm using today would be good because I think you don't want the bottom of the pudding in direct contact with the heat source. I've put the water in that's going to steam and then to prevent the top getting damp I'm putting a um, plate on top and then to cap it all off when it starts to boil I've got the tagine lid. So let's get that up to steam and we'll know when it's steaming well because we'll have steam pumping out of the top. I don't know whether you can hear it but there is a bubbling happening under there. And if I was to put my finger up there, I would burn my little self because there is steam emanating, emanating even from it. So now it's up to cooking temperature. We're going to leave it for a good half an hour and see how we go. Stoke the fire. Keep it nice and warm for the pudding. Right, it looks like we're done, so we're going to carefully take the lid off and see whether we've cooked it for too long. It's been going a good half an hour. The lid's full of steam, as you can see. Carefully take the top off. Ooh, oof, that's looking good to oh, me. Oh, the smell. The smell, the smell. Oh, that's good. So we're going to fish off the top here, carefully With without your burning ourselves. And I'm going to lift it out and hope it doesn't slip. Whoop. You do be okay. careful. Get the water out of the little cruet or whatever we call it. There we go, put it onto there. And we have to tip it out onto the plate. Where's the plate? Look at that. It doesn't look rather good, doesn't it? We've got mm. custard as well, fresh made custard to go with it. Mm. See whether we can just slip it out. We should use a knife, but I haven't got a knife ready. So see whether we can slip it out of its. I think this one's cooked compared to the other one. It looks good, doesn't it? So we put that back on. We're going to tip mm -hmm. it over. This is some. Oh, I see. Like that. Good uh, craftsmanship, that. Yes, looks good to me. But has it tipped out properly? I think it will. Yes, look at that. And underneath there, steam. we have not told everybody what we have under there. We have homemade caramel made from our own cow's milk. Oh Be my careful. goodness. Watch to make sure you don't burn yourself when you tip it out like that. And now we need a little knife to cut it open with. Oh, it's so tempting just to pick up the spoon and taste it. But that will ruin the whole video. Right? <laughs> she needs a, a arty shot first. Homemade custard. Mmm, look at that. Oh, and custard and everything is made with our homegrown eggs from our free range chickens. Now that is slicing open beautifully. I'm wondering, is it done in the middle? It doesn't look it like doesn't it. It doesn't look like no. it. So we need to put it a little bit longer. You sure? Mm, it's not quite cooked in the middle, look. <laughs> we should put it back in. No! It's nearly done, Lil. You'll have it soon. No! Yes! Soon! Now I've got to get rid of the um, <laughs> bits onto the plate that we'll just drip that over there. We'll get it back in there. Tip it back in. Try not to spill it everywhere. Oh dear, dear, dear. No. We'll see you soon. We're not quite cooked. <sighs> oh dear, back it goes. Bye. You know what we should have done? We should have stabbed it in the beginning to check, but we got rather excited thinking, yes, oh, yeah. it's ready. So we'll just it. put it a little bit longer to steam. It's all a learning process. That's after 30 minutes, so we'll come back a little bit later. Join us back at the fire. We think now that it is cooked. So we've been cooking this in the tangine. I'd say this has had an extra 15 minutes now because after half an hour it wasn't cooked. 
take the lid off. And we're going to give it, oh, it's steamed up. We give it a little bit of a poke and see if it's cooked in the middle, which we should have done first time. And it's cooked, so let's get it out. So we're going to fish it out carefully. Fish it out carefully. Don't let it slide. No, slipping, sliding. Dripping, draining though, dripping, draining. If this falls on the floor, I might be permitted to slap you. Oh, don't slap me. Right, let's put the lid on. Let's tip it out and see what we are going to consume for our nummy nummies. I'm quite excited about this. So this is to test to see if it is just as good as using a pressure cooker on top of... I think it's already of, better. I think it's already better, dear. Uh, using the tagine. We're experimenting, seeing how we can... Uh, we do a few taps first. Tip tap. Tap. Tip tap. Tip tap. You can see it slipping now. There we go, it's dropped. Very good point, that is Lily there. Indeed. I do know my stuff, you see. It looks like you do. So we shall cut it. Look Once again. Once again. We're going it's to put really... it on a plate. Look Let's get that. the plate that we've it's already... Wet. Oh, it looks good. It does look good. Yes. That is we now have been eating this non-stop, by the way. We've got enough to do another, but another one shortly. Oh my word! Look at that. Now we need to add some homemade. By the way, we are stuck in Bridgerton mode. Yeah. No, I'm trying to get out of Bridgerton mode. We just shot a silly, a very very silly um, video. If you want to see us being total fools, absolute fools. Mm. Um, have a look at our Bridgerton silliness on the People. next comedy. People must rate this from 1 to 10. How delicious does it look? Mm, it looks very good. Let's have a little taste. I'm going to taste my little portion here. See, we already know the custard, you do this first. the custard is amazing. No, you don't need to show me eating. You can just hear me yumming. Mmm! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm okay, Lily, Lily's turn. Get some custard. What's a custard, dear? Mm. How does it taste? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll show her face because she's pretty. It's, uh, pardon? Wonderful. Oh, she was trying to use words that could be used on television there then, I think. <laughs> it is light and fluffy and tasty. How much points are we going to award it out of 10? 20. There you go. Give this cooking method a try using a tagine. More, give me more. A tagine on top of the fire. A roaring wood fire with a dog snoozing in the back end. That was my portion, excuse me. Works very well with pudding. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Give us a comment so we know you're there. And um, we'll have to share the recipe on how to make this. Oh, Lily, I want to eat that now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I've got to go. I've got a pudding disappearing in front of me.